All right, so we're going to look at In the Time of Monsters. This is going to be designed by J-Dragon and published by Possum Creek Games. So this will be an LGBTQ-friendly RPG. Now, this is going to be like a medieval-style game. It's going to be going for three to six players. Over, over, it does mention that if you go to the six, it might be a little cramped. But, you know, you ought to have a feel for what your group is willing to do and what however many you're going to fit. So you're going to have a gridded map of some sort and you're going to draw on it and you're going to have some sort of representation for each of the characters on the map. So you also need some dice. So this one's going to be one of the ones where you're going to be rolling dice. A lot of the other designs by the same designer here, you're not going to be rolling dice, but this one you will. You'll need pencil, paper, and a calculator. And again, snacks, water, and comfortable chairs. So I think that's always a good recommendation. Now this one here is going to be like a Viking style. So you're going to have your Yggdrasil cell and its nine room realms. And I really like that it's going to go over like Midgard, Utgard, and uh, I never say any of these names right, so I'm sorry, uh, Musclebound. Uh, Asgard, Altham, and Val it just goes over the different regions in there. It goes over the roads between them. It goes over the different gods here. You got Odin, Freya, Thor, um, again, Heidenall, Loki. Sorry about my pronunciation. And here goes into the rules. The rules aren't all that complicated here, which is nice. So you can get straight into the game. And like most of the other RPGs by the same designer, the game is again focused on the characters, character development, and the overall story, more than having to roll uh, dice constantly. So it has simple hit point setup, so average human gets around 10 points. Combat is very uh, straightforward. You're going to have the same sort of idea as the other ones that were done by the same designer you have. Like in those ones, you had like big actions normal actions and small actions same idea here you're gonna have your quick actions full actions and slow actions and there's gonna be a description for each of them you're gonna be able to do like different abilities throughout here so you'll have this as a reference on here so like disengage was like quick action for, for example or move is a full action you have three different stats in here so the stats are really simple you got a body you got mind and you got soul and if any of these get reduced to zero, bad things happen. That's basically where you get, um, you know, knocked out or whatever stuff happens. But uh, the higher numbers, you get to do superpowers on here. But you can pay attention to this chart here to see what you want to do uh, with that. And it gives a general idea of what the numbers should be for creating a character with a mind, body, and soul. And this will be the what you're going to use for basically everything throughout the game. And let's talk about pace, scale, technique, scale, technique, and ending combat. If any characters can die in this game, so keep it in mind. You, this one's good for uh, using for one-off sessions, or you can do a bigger campaign in here. Here's some of the characters that you can use as. Uh, throughout the game as your NPCs or whatnot. Uh, different ideas for creating sessions are in here. This is a really good overall RPG uh, if you're looking for more story-driven RPG where you're just going to focus again on characters, uh, their development, and the overall story development in a really cool um, like Viking mythology theme. So that was In the Time of Monsters. Thank you for watching.